I continue to get requests to discuss the upcoming changes to our contracts. There has been so much buzz and excitement about the proposed change on how the option fee will be paid, so I thought I would discuss the change again in this video podcast. First, please note the Texas Real Estate Commission has not yet approved the proposed changes. At their meeting in May, the Commission moved to publish the changes for public comment, and oftentimes that means that subject to the public comment, the Commission may adopt the changes at the following meeting. However, the Commission met August 10th and did not approve the changes, but rather voted to republish the changes for public comment. As a result, we do not have any new changes yet, nor a date when they will be effective. And this means you still have an opportunity to express your approval or concerns with any changes. For this reason, I do want to take an opportunity to talk about the revision to the option paragraph and address a misunderstanding some of you have. Under the proposed change, the option fee would be payable to the escrow agent and delivered to the title company in the same time frame as the earnest money meaning within three calendar days, except if the third day lands on a Saturday, Sunday, or legal holiday, then it is deposited on the next day. The option fee may either be lumped in one payment with the earnest money or made as a separate payment. But in either event, it is payable to the escrow agent under the new proposed changes. The escrow agent will then be authorized to pay the option directly to the seller at any time without further instruction from the buyer. But what is important to note is that the escrow agent will not be able to release the option fee to the seller until the check from the buyer has cleared. Generally, title companies need 10 business days from the time the check is deposited to verify that it is cleared. So the seller may not be able to receive the fee before the option expires. Some of you thought that the proposed changes provided a choice, meaning you could either pay the option fee to the title company or pay it directly to the seller. That opportunity to pay to the seller versus the escrow agent does not exist under the currently proposed changes. If you prefer to have a choice, then I suggest you reach out to the broker lawyer committee by an email and make your comments known. Either way, the change to how the option fee will be handled is a popular alternative to the current practice. I will address other proposed changes in subsequent video podcasts. Thank you for your viewership and support, and may your business continue to prosper. Stay well.